playful lovers i'm molly and welcome back to our youtube channel please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future lethal updates so in today's video we are going to go over a few different gel liner tips i know it's something you've been asking for and we have the perfect products to show you different and interesting ways to try and use your gel liners so let's get started so today i have five tips for you on how to use gel liner and tip number one is that this formula tends to be really creamy and waterproof, so that makes it perfect to apply to your waterline so it really sticks, doesn't budge, and gives you a lot of pigmentation to complement your eye look. So this is what Ox looks like in the waterline. It's a really beautiful mint color and it's not going to go anywhere once it dries. So tip number two is that you can actually use the gel liners as an eyeshadow base and it will really intensify the pigmentation of whatever color you put on top of it. So if you put our white buffer down when you're doing an eye look and then you put a, a bright pastel shade over top, it's going to really pop and be super bright and really stick to the base and not budge. So tip number three is super fun and unique and it's actually color mixing. So you can take any shade from our gel liner collection and mix them together to create your own special shades. So if you consider a color wheel and you look at all of the colors here, if you think of shades that are closer to each other and mix those, you're going to get something that's really beautiful and a very unique kind of in-between shade, maybe between green and blue. But if you take something that is opposite itself um, and mix it, you might get more of a brown shade, which is still useful, but just keep that in mind when you're mixing your gel liners. If I mix these two shades together, I have Amplitude and Stereo here, I'm going to get a kind of lighter, more soft version of this bright orange. So tip number four comes down to what tools you're using to put your gel liners on. Um, an angled brush is going to make your winged liners so much easier to apply. It kind of creates that sharp line for you and you don't have to do so much work to get the shape and sharpness of the line that you want. If you want to go for a fluid, more flowy line, a brush that is thinner and longer is going to give you more control over making those curvy shapes. It's really good for those graphic liner looks or doing any kind of detailing and face drawing. The fifth and final tip for this video is that you can actually use our gel liners as a face and body paint. So in this look here, I used Bit Crush analog, stereo, and equalize to create the shapes and colors. Um, they were so easy to work with and it was really blendable and everything stuck in place and the look lasted forever for me. So it's a really creative and fun way to use your gel liners and you know there are no limits when it comes to putting color on your face. So I hope you enjoyed these gel liner tips. I hope these were useful and helpful for your looks and that they inspire you to experiment with some colors. Make sure to share your gel liner looks with us and leave any more suggestions for videos like this below. We would love to know what tips you'd like to know in the future. So thanks so much for watching and stay lethal.